Buenos dias. I'm on my morning walk with Micah, like always. He's always attached to me. And Ghost. And we're walking through La Estancia de Santo Domingo, which is a neighborhood in uh, Managua, Nicaragua. And I just finished my leg workout. I hit a bunch of PRs today. And especially on the RDLs, I've been hitting PRs on the RDLs every single week, I think, since since uh, October. And that's just with the one set to failure. And that's the magic of one set to failure is uh, you progress every single week because you do just enough damage to the muscle that it's stronger for the next week. And if you're not progressing week to week, even just a little bit, or you're not seeing progress two weeks in a row, um, on on any of your exercises, you should be hitting PRs on, it's not always the same exercise. Sometimes uh, you don't hit PRs on certain exercises because they're hard to increase the weight on, but you should be getting strong and hitting PRs on at least one exercise every week. Um, I seem to be hitting PRs almost every day, but that's not the case every week. But the key is that in the long run, I'm a lot stronger now than I was last month and last month i was stronger than i was the month before and going month to month you're getting stronger as long as you're in a you're bulking you're in a calorie surplus and getting enough sleep you should be gaining strength every week last year that wasn't the case when i was bulking because i was doing too many drop sets i was doing four or five drop sets and my body my body wasn't able to recover in time and i also noticed that i would get run down and not be motivated to work out. And I'd even get sick. Um, I don't know, like every every three months I'd get really sick. And I think maybe that was because of overdoing it and my body wasn't able to recover. And you just, if your body doesn't recover or your muscles don't recover by your next workout, you're just putting it more and more into a, a deficit that it can't get out of. And um, once I switched to one drop set, everything improved. And who knows, maybe in the future, if I'm not seeing progress, I'll probably remove the drop set and just do one set to failure and maybe get a spotter and just try to push out one or two extra reps. But uh, for now, this is all working. Enjoy my video and have a great day. Say bye, Micah. Adios. First thing I do on Friday mornings, leg day, is I do a warm up. I got 135 on the bar and then we do 10 reps, nice and slow, all the way up, all the way down. And I just do that to get the blood flowing and get the muscles warmed up before my working sets. We have 10 sets, nice and slow, all the way down, all the way up. And I'll come back with a working set. I rested for three minutes and I'm back with a working set. And I have 245 on the bar and I feel like 245 has been on the bar forever. I don't know if all my videos, it's 245 on the bar, but maybe, maybe it's less when I started. But uh, the reason I have 245 on the bar is I find that every week I'm getting deeper and deeper to the squat. And I don't think I can get any deeper in the squats. But uh, when I think I can get any deeper, I keep getting deeper. And my reps go from anywhere from four to seven week to week. Last week I did five. And I'll just keep doing this until I can hit eight or nine with this weight, with a nice deep squat. And um, eventually I'll hit 315 for eight, which is my goal this year for the challenge. So let me know what day this year I'm gonna hit 315 for eight. I have no idea when it's gonna be. I thought it was gonna be sooner, but maybe if I, 
I might not even get to it. Uh, but let me know what your guess is. And let's see how many I do today. I got six, one more than last week. I'm gonna drop 10 and go again. So, drop 10 on each side and go again. I'm recording. And I got three or four, but I forgot because I missed the fucking safety. I forgot to put it down for the second time this year. But I recovered. And that's it. One set to failure. It drops it and on to the next one. I'm back with the next exercise and it's RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. And last week I did 305 for eight. So this week I'm gonna do 305 again. And I should be able to get nine. And then next week I'll increase the weight by five. And I think I've been hitting PR every week on the RDLs. Uh, every week on the RDLs since I think uh, the end of September, beginning of October. And that's just doing one set to failure. And that's the thing about one set to failure is uh, you do just enough exercise so that you're stronger for the next week. And if you're not progressing week to week while you're bulking, while, while you're in a caloric surplus, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, maybe not getting enough sleep or you're working out too much and lowering your volume always is better than increasing it. And I use a mixed grip when I do RDLs and ever since I switched to mixed grip I've never had to put, place the bar down during a set. Just squeeze out nine. I have a good pump in my hamstrings where it's supposed to be, my lower back, and I'm gonna drop 50, 25 on each side and go again.
So two more. So I got nine and two. And next week I'll do 310. And this is how you should be breathing after you're done. You should have an RP of eight or nine. If you have trouble talking, it lets you know that you're going at the right intensity. And that's the one set to failure. On to the next exercise. I'm back with the next exercise and it's the belt squats. I actually added the belt squats because my bench got all messed up from the rain and I wasn't able to do leg extensions. Uh, so I added belt squats and now that my bench is fixed, I decided that I'm still gonna do belt squats because of the angle that I go down and up and uh, the depth I'm able to get on the belt squat versus a regular squat. And I think it's very beneficial to do a belt squat, especially uh, with once it's the failure, it's so quick. Uh, that doesn't really affect how long my workout is as another five five minutes to my workout maybe less and uh, the belt squat is unique because um instead of you can see me instead of going down like a squat with the knees going forward this belt squat i'm going more more back down in the sitting position with my knees staying forward so it's a different movement it works the i'm not sure if you can see my head it works the the legs differently the the quadriceps and I'm gonna keep it in my workout last week I did I don't remember I think I don't even remember five five maybe five no I think I did seven I did seven last week at 170 so I'm gonna do 170 again and I should be able to do more and I have trouble doing drop sets on this so maybe I'll drop a lot of weight and do a drop set Like always, I use a dip belt to hook into the cable machine. I'm getting fat with the bulk, but that's just uh, that's something that's necessary. If you never if you never get to a, a calorie surplus where you're getting fat like I am, then uh, you're not putting on the, the amount of muscle that you want to put on, and not getting as strong as you want to get as strong as you want to get. And I'm gonna keep bulking. I'm trying to keep bulking for the whole year. I know that might that might not be possible, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna bulk to hit some some crazy plateau, and then I'll cut. And I always forget to load up the fucking raft. I need to put weight. I'll fast forward all that. I had to do that, otherwise the rack's gonna start sliding with me. This bee's landing on my arm. I think last week I got 5-2. So 5 again. And I'm just going to drop fucking... I'm not going to just... I took out the 5s. So I took off the 35s. That's 80 pounds I took off. I took off 80 pounds. And I'll throw 20 on. So I dropped 40. Let's see if I can do a couple more. I got two, so I got five and two. Uh, and my shorts are stuck. And that's it, once it's the failure, on to the next exercise. I'm back with my next exercise, and it's leg extensions. 
Uh, last week I got my bench fix. So last week was the first day that I did leg extensions this year. And I figured out that I can do 90 pounds for 11. So this week I'm gonna do 100. And I should be able to get, um, I think I'll get seven or eight reps with, with Luna's help. And, and then I'll do a drop set of 10 probably and see what happens. So we got nine, and I'm gonna drop 10 and go again. And I'm dropping 10 because that's the easiest way to drop. I'm gonna drop another 45 and add other weights. So see how many more I can do. So I got nine, and... So I got four, three or four, I fucking can't remember. Uh, but the the burn on the quadriceps is actually the most intense out of all the other exercises. I don't know if that's because I'm not used to it, but it is intense and I forgot how intense that is. And pushing for the last 10 seconds makes it even more intense. And, and that's it, one drop, one drop set to failure. And on to the leg curls. The next exercise I do is ghost kisses on my neck. And no, the, the next exercise I do is uh, leg curls. And last week I did, I uh, had the bench redone. So I, because of how the bench was redone, and now that it's firm, I'm able to do more reps with uh, the weight. And last week I did. I think I did nine. I think I did nine for 40. So I'm gonna add 45. Might have been even more. But I think I did nine. And I'm adding 45. So I'm gonna do 45 and then I'll drop 10. And let's see how many I can do. So 11, 11 and a half. We'll drop 10 to go again.
that's it. I got, I think I got 11 and three. And this burns a lot less than the quadriceps. So there's no reason for you not to push for the last 10 seconds of the end. Push on the last rep, it makes all the difference. And on to the next exercise. I'm back with the last exercise. And it's the calf raises with a barbell. And last week I did it with, um, with the hands on the ground. But my toes kept going into the holes. So today I got 25s on the ground, so that I can, uh, so that I can um, bring my my calf past flat, work the calf better. And uh, I have 225 on the bar again. Last week I did 27, and this week I'm gonna try and do 30. I'll write down 20 and it was a lot harder to do with the 25s because of how thick they are and I got a crazy pump in my calves and that's it for today leg day is over come back tomorrow for muscle ups and hand grippers